good everybody my name is simpistato well um to everybody that is new to scort silver my name is simpistato and if you haven't seen the first episode of scort silver yet uh you should definitely check it out because this series is funny as hell but to everybody that already knows this series welcome back y'all to some more scort silver now as y'all see <laughs> the format right here is kind of iffy it's kind of sketch i know this isn't the actual game now real quick i want to let y'all know that i did play this part this entire i mean it wouldn't really make sense for me to even explain that part because bitch how do i have like a whole video with it and i'm talking about i played it yeah listen something happened with the audio like i i played through this whole episode recorded separate audio and the audio got corrupted and i can't fix it so here we are i'm going to be doing something i haven't done in a long time i am going to be uh reacting to the <laughs> to the shit that i live reacted to well i'm technically so i'm gonna be reacting to um my live reaction of playing this game or this episode right here. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, nothing really too crazy happened. This might be the shortest Scorch Silver video that I've probably posted. Or probably the shortest Pokemon video that I posted on this channel to be exact. So you know what? I'm going to upload. I'm going to after this, I'm going to up. I'm going to record and upload a brand new episode and upload it like later on in the day. If I say upload one more time, you know, let me say upload one more time. I tried to play through it real quick to see if I can like, you know, get back to this spot, but I couldn't really do all that. But anyways, I was, I know I was shook as hell when I came over here and I seen Shane popped up out of nowhere. Shane told me that he got clapped by some generic bowl cut karate chump, right? And, you know, I was explaining my feelings to him, talking about, listen, big brother, I understand what you've been going through. And I guess he didn't even see that I was there. So he says, oh, it's you, dot, dot, dot. Then he goes right into saying, yeah, you know what? I'll beat the shit out you and that will probably cheer me up. I'm like, bro, really? You just lost an entire gym battle. And for some weird reason, you just want to fight me to see if it'll make you, if, if it'll make up. So he pulls out a crocodile. So yeah, man, I was shook because I realized I didn't heal up. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me go restart, heal up real quick, get back into the battle. Boom, we back in this bitch. Han Green goes out. Level 46 to the 44, right? We use magical leaf on this thing. I'm like, yo, this man level 40, 44 and I'm level 46. Let me use magical leaf real quick. Take, I thought it was going to one shot him. Obviously did it. He uses swagger on me for some weird reason just to bring my attack a little bit up because y'all know them razor leaves or magical leaves them shits be sharp as hell they do a lot of damage Va take this nigga out boom easy just like that peasies so thinking about it i bring hong green back and i send out moron because this nigga decided that he wanted to send out malamar um i didn't really have anything to like you know counter malamar because of the fact that this bitch is a dark psychic type even though it looks like a poison type really or water type it looks a lot like a water type but it's a dark psychic type so i didn't really you know had any bug moves or anything like that he set up light screen to protect itself from me so i was like nah man i'm not dealing with this let me send out Han green again sent out Han green used poison powder on him synthesized myself it used foul play foul play does a lot of damage it spams foul play for some weird reason. So I'm letting the poison do its work. I think around here is where I realized, mm, damn, should I really use synthesis again? Because I'm really going to be wasting that shit. I said, fuck it. Let me use it. So we got full health. This bitch uses pluck. It's strongest move. I mean, supposed strongest move on me and dies for that. So Malamar is out for the count. So now Cuz decided that he wants to send out a Sharpedo. So I was like, you know what, Shink Lee, you haven't been in this bitch for a minute. So you come on out. Sharpedo comes out of nowhere like a hot mess. Got the jagged cut off like fin in the top. That shit looked like it hurt, man. Who, who that man got into a fight with, bro? Like Man um Manaphy? Not Manaphy, no, Mantine. Charged up, you stunned the fang on him. Ice Fang didn't really do much. I don't know why it charged up because it charges up only special attack moves. Thunder Fang is a physical move. So I guess it is what it is. I'm not sure. Is it a special move or is it a physical move? Because it's technically like a bite. But it's whatever. Rough skin caught us slacking. You know, that bitch didn't put no lotion on. So, you know, the, the rough skin really hurt us. I didn't really peep what it was going to send out next. I think Wormadom or something like that. So I was like, you know what? Let me send out Lion. And that bitch sent out a Houndoom. Now, I, I panicked for a little bit there because I didn't see this Houndoom for a minute until I realized that I had Rock Slide. 
So I used Rock Slide. And did I one shot here, if I remember? Yeah, I one shot that bitch right over here, bro. That bitch didn't even get the chance to use anything with its howled move. But this was about the easiest fight. I said, nah, I'm gonna keep lying out. Cause this man, he gonna send out Shift Tree, bro. Shift Tree is a it, Shift Tree is a special one. Cause Shift Tree pulled out a move I ain't think any Shift Tree would know over here. This man pulled out a rock slide on me. Did a little bit of damage. That shit brought me to the yellow. So I was like, fuck you, Shift Tree. Took him out. And we. I don't know what I was saying over here, but I know it was it was taking a long time. But after that. Mm -hmm. We ended up beating our butt. Uh, we ended up beating our brother. Uh, he got in his feelings talking about this can't be happening. Then I warned him. I told him he should not have done that. He should have went to go heal up. I don't know how he had already healed up all his mons and all his mons was full health right then and there. But hey, that ain't got shit to do with me. He said some shit about this can't be happening. And I took 2700 off that boy just like that. All that shit you was talking. He thought this was me back in Cherry Grove. And on top of that, my Kruko doll crack baby over here evolving on top um, on top of his dead months like come on bro so then he gets into his feelings he starts talking about i think i get it now he says i'm just like dad there's something that me and dad has that he can't seem to grasp for himself and that's when and it, that's when i came to realize sudden realization both of them have red hair this nigga he can fight hard as hell this dude he has like a weird attitude and i was like you know what these niggas wait could they be I think they are um what's that bitch name? Silver's dad um Silver's kids. Because they got red hair, attitude of silver. I got the training skills of like Silver's alter ego. And then I was like, you know what, fuck it, whatever. I'm not I ain't got no much time for lore. And I tried to see what that was. It said deep sea lab. Okay, so I decided that it was time to challenge the gym. Went inside here to see what that nigga was talking about. He said some shit about a bowl cut. And I realized it was a fighting gym. And I think I switched my team up a little bit. Let me see. Yeah, I did. I brought out Scarlet. Who we ain't seen in a hot minute. And I brought out Zoe, who we also didn't see in a hot minute as well, too. Zoe got the EXP share. And that bitch definitely is going to need a lot of EXP. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Let's just go back real quick. And then I noticed something. I noticed something. I was like, wait, do I know this nigga? I feel like I know that nigga from somewhere. And then we made it inside the gym and we found who I think is Bruce Lee. Bitch, I was about to say, I thought it was Rock Lee from Naruto, you feel me? Because I seen the bitch name was Lee, got the bowl cut and everything like that. But this man, he was talking about perfect timing. We were just getting ready to get warmed up. Now line up. So he forced us to get into line. He, then he says, attention. Then we start doing a bunch of jujitsu shit. Let me see. Watch this. We struck left. Osu. Oh, then we struck right. Osu. Oh, but I was lagging a little bit. Not really. Me, my character, he was like being so left behind, so confused and everything. Then he called us out. You in the middle. What's your malfunction? Damn, I sound like I'm AI. Then he realizes that I didn't come over here to train strength or some shit like that. I just came here to battle these, this nigga. Says he's not impressed. Then he goes ahead, tries our set. He says he's not impressed with what we, we have um, um, with what we have to offer. Then he wanted us to battle all of his students consecutively with no heals. And that ex is exactly what we did. I went ahead and I fought the first bozo who was called Hanzo. The Hanzo nigga sends out Halucha. And Halucha had no idea of what was coming to that bitch. That bitch was not expecting the Shank Lee. He used flying press. That ain't do shit to me, nigga. I hit that boy with a good old Thunder Fang. And then he uses Endeavor on me for some weird reason. That shit did not do any damage. It probably did do damage, like one, maybe. And then it goes ahead and tries to use flying press on me again. I don't know why it didn't use Endeavor. It could have really killed me if it used Endeavor. But hey it is what it is free win hit the thunder fang cleared him fuck out of here with all that all that noise all that yap you feel me and now he's about to set down bray loom so i thought uh since he's sending out bray loom bray loom is a grass fighting type so i was like you know what fuck you, you might as well just send zo out zo right here is nice and clean with it 
even though she's level he's level 38 and this bitch is level 43 i never really realized that because this bitch withdrew hanzo well withdrew the um breloom sent out this dickhead we used air cut on him did quite decent damage and we said psych sent him out hit him with this boom good agility he gonna use a gyro ball on us i don't know why these hitmon tops they love that's like their favorite move ai love using gyro ball with hitmon tops but that shit did not work on me zo got a nice good old level 39 and we stayed in scarlet definitely took out breloom with a good aerial lace so we destroyed everybody and this man just so just told us damn i was really wrong about you little nigga you completely blew away my expectations so we earned his battle and he gave us the chance to go heal up because boy i needed that shit he said he's gonna be ready for me waiting right over here once i'm done healing up bitch i cleared it out there so quick and i ran through over here curiosity got me i said you know what i seen you from somewhere where have i seen you from you can't be someone regular let me go heal up real quick flew out that bitch went right over here and it was oliver this whole time he says oh nigga very elegantly i was not expecting you here then he says something about wanting to explore the world islands but unfortunately not being able to due to the fact that it was not very accessible his college professor once told him that the islands contain the legendary pokemon which we all should know by now is lugia and he says it was really something about the deep sea lab i didn't really care about the lore at the time i just went straight for the gym so got everybody prepped up and i was ready for battle told his students to watch him get really pumped up and he wanted to waste no more time that nigga actually did get pumped up and to my surprise bitch we was really fighting bruce lee bro hold up leader lee full team i didn't know what the hell i was gonna expect bro all right so i had to fight this nigga about like 12 times before i could finally beat him and i think this right over here is the final battle <laughs> that i was able to get him through i was able to get um zo up to like level 45 this little nigga right here was pissing me the fuck off i hated monkeys like right after the bat for this but eagle rush is back on the team too who's now a beautiful gardevoir uh this nigga didn't really learn anything new but he's like she's like level 47 love scarlet for that one shot right there then we got scrafty who we then send out eagle rush for because i realized eagle rush can tank like two hits with this um off this scrafty and can easily get her health right back just by using draining kiss because this bitch is a fighting dark type so thank god it got 4x right over here and it was able to drag this Scrafty's ass all the way down to the orange. He tries using a st stone edge on us again. That shit did a lot of damage because y'all know how glassy Eagle Rush is, bro. But anyways, Eagle Rush is out. He's going to send out Toxic Croak. I send out Scarlet again because this Toxic Croak, I couldn't keep um, Eagle Rush out. This man was going to one shot e Eagle Rush with ease, bro. With ease, my nigga. He uses sword dance, sacrifices himself for no weird reason. He could have used sword dance, then a baton rouge or pass. Actually, baton pass, and he would have been straight. But hey, to each day own. Eagle Rush goes up to level 40. God bless his soul. Wants to learn future sight. I say hell nah. Stop learning that shit. We good. We gotta beat this battle. Machamp comes out. We send out Han Green. Because my champ was a pain in the ass. My champ knows way too much good shit. So we had to poison this nigga immediately. This bitch uses a dynamic punch that does so much damage to us for some weird reason. I try to use synthesis, hurt myself, and lose myself to music right there. Then we send out, I think, do we send out Eagle Rush? Or do, did we send out Shibuya? No, we sent out Eagle Rush only for Eagle Rush to probably get one shot right here yeah because it used knockoff no she didn't get one shot okay okay it knocked off the the, the stupid ass xp share she used he used psychic didn't really do much but brought him down to Ooh, i tried to see if i can outrun him or outspeed him but this my champ i don't know even though that bitch is poisoned it caught me lacking but anyways didn't really care use quick attack 
but the bitch use okay no 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 i was chilling it used he used like a hyper potion got him back up to like kind of full health and i had already used quick attack again did some damage then he sends out lucario which was also giving me issues but that was his last mon though so we was chilling hit fake out on him to pop the air balloon boom it ain't do much but that air balloon was gone bit had to use knock off on that bitch so he could knock whatever he had going on off and then i realized he didn't really have anything on him so i raised that bitch's attack for no weird reason he used meteor mash on me and one shots me easily send out scarlet and scarlet thank god drops his um attack and then we just go right ahead Ooh, that bitch used close combat dropped his defense and killed himself right there phew because aerial ace was not super affecting him even though he's a fighting type but i guess it's because he's also steel but we won leader lee was out for the count from the moment we walked into his gym he thought we was just some wimpy little kid but how wrong was he stand tall we've earned his respect and we got 4700 on top of that shit too boy i needed this stone storm badge i was gonna say stone badge this storm badge and i needed the guap that came with it bro well now we got we're gonna be able to get like level 75 pokemons now who knows when that will happen and then we got tm31 which i do believe was like what brick break and i was like what the fuck do i need brick break for i, I ain't ever gonna use that shit boom i'm out and then that oh wait that was going to be the end of the episode but this man came through real hype he said nigga i was like yo what's good my nigga why are you coming up to me like with so much energy and then he said he heard something incredible his university professor just told him about a shrine that mysteriously appeared about a nowhere in the kizu forest recently and i was like what the fuck is a kizu forest my nigga i have never heard of that a day in my life i was just trying to go collect the next gym badge and he said something about we should go check it out it's like related to the freaking illic forest and then i realized this might be a fun adventure because it's just west of olivine right and he just dips right over there it's just west of olivine and it's probably like a new forest that we never heard of i went back inside the gym for some weird reason and it came back out and now we're here uh i think oh wait no this is where i'm ending the episode so yeah this was the end of the episode hope you guys enjoyed this like weird commentary shit that i had going on i checked out how many more shits we got guys we got two more gym badges with this game and then we hit the elite four and we're good we're done i don't know if this game got a sequel to it but we're good right after this we just got to go to the forest we got to definitely beat whoever the like leader leader of the team whatever the fuck team phoenix yeah we got to beat whoever the leader of team phoenix is and then we're set so that's the end of this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please leave a like down below for this bomb-ass, weird, but still kind of dope commentary. Y'all don't gotta leave a like. I, I just, I, I didn't want to like upload a, a, a video going straight into something else. And then let's say somebody watches this in the future, right? And then they get real into this shit. Oh, damn, the video stopped right there. But anyways, yeah, they get real into this shit and they're like yo hold up wait where'd the other episode go why why did it skip straight to this city what's going on i don't want it to be like that so we've got this episode hope y'all enjoyed i will catch y'all in the next episode that will probably be like maybe two three four maybe four hours after this episode drops hope y'all enjoyed peace